My kitchen drawers used to be a hot mess. I couldn't find anything. It would take forever when I was cooking to try to find what I needed. And then sometimes it was even worse when I was trying to put back the items I had taken out. I couldn't even figure out how I had gotten half of the stuff in the drawer to begin with. So if you find yourself in that same situation, then you're in luck because today I am sharing with you how I finally got my kitchen drawers organized when we moved in this house two and a half years ago. I set up systems that have worked and and these have been in place for the two and a half years we've been in the house. They function beautifully and that's the key is we want it to function. So if you want to see how I did it, stay tuned. It's Christy. Welcome back to my channel and Happy New Year. This is my first video of 2020. I can't believe I haven't made a video all of January yet. So we have been in the process of moving and I know that might be a surprise for a lot of you. If you follow me on Instagram, you might already know that because I've been sharing things about it in my stories. But what I've done is I took a little break at Christmas and then I have just been getting ready for putting the house up for sale and now I'm trying to get ready for the movers to come. So I am gonna make a video telling you all about the move, where we're going, how I feel about it, all of that good stuff. Um, but I'll do that in a separate video. I just wanted to kind of give you a quick little heads up about where I've been and why I haven't had a video for the year yet. When I moved into this house, getting my kitchen organized was one of my top priorities. I set out to do that right away and I ended up using some strategies that really did help me to be able to do it and I'm going to be using the same strategies when we move into our new house because every kitchen is different. You can also use these principles and tips that I'm going to be giving you in other rooms of your house. So these tips would work in bathrooms, in offices, any area of your house where you have drawer storage, you can use the ideas I'm gonna be sharing with you today. My first tip for getting your kitchen drawers organized is function trumps everything. So I know we all see things on Instagram and Pinterest and we would love for our drawers to look just like that. They're so beautiful but none of that matters if it doesn't function properly for you. So all of the tips that I'm sharing with you today will hopefully help you figure out how to organize your drawers so that they are gonna function at high levels for you. You wanna know where everything is, you want it to be easy to get to what you need when you need it. So we're gonna be talking about all of that today and keep in mind, maybe your containers in the drawer are not the prettiest, but if it functions, that's really all that matters. My second tip should happen before you start organizing anything. You wanna analyze your space and identify all of your prime real estate. So today we're talking about kitchen drawer organization. So all you're paying attention to are the kitchen drawers and you're identifying which of those kitchen drawers or what I would consider prime real estate. So your prime real estate are gonna be the drawers that are closest to the places where you're gonna use things the most. So for example, if you have a bank of drawers that starts at the top and goes down, then the ones that are closer to the top would probably be your prime real estate because they're easier to get into. In my kitchen, I don't have any banks of drawers. All of mine are on top of cabinets. For me, my prime real estate were places like the two drawers that are next to my stove, the two drawers that are right next to my kitchen sink, the drawers that are on my kitchen island because that's an area where I'm using that a lot when I cook. As you're analyzing your space and identifying your prime real estate, Think about each area of prime real estate and what types of items you would most likely use next to that space. So for example, next to my stove, I would most likely want to have some of my most used cooking utensils and then also maybe some pot holders and spoon rest. I know that I do a lot of my chopping right next to my sink, so the drawer that is closest to my sink is perfect for all of my knives. My third tip goes hand in hand with finding your prime real estate. And the third tip is categorize all of your items. My main categories are silverware, 
kitchen gadgets, cooking necessities, things like utensils, pot holders, spoon rest, then knives, baking, cleaning, food storage bags, and miscellaneous. Within each one of these categories, I might have subcategories. So for example, under kitchen gadgets, I might have subcategories of the different types of kitchen gadgets, but the main categories will dictate where and how I'm gonna use my drawer space. Now notice so far, we have already started doing a lot of planning, but what we haven't talked about yet are containers. I don't do this until step four because you want to make sure that the containers you're getting are going to be the right things that you need once you've figured out your prime real estate and categorized all of your items because you want to make sure that you're getting the right size containers for your different items and then also you want to make sure that you're getting the right size containers that you need for each drawer. I have several different types of containers that I use in my kitchen drawers because of how I want them to function. And I find that they function perfectly. And again, even though they're not like Pinterest worthy or Instagram worthy because they're not all beautiful. And when I open my drawers, I don't necessarily think they all look beautiful, but they are organized and they are functional. And that's what really matters. In some of my drawers, I also use empty space as sort of a container within itself. I am not a minimalist when it comes to the things I keep in my kitchen drawers. I like my gadgets and I like different things. You'll notice that I have multiple spatulas and multiple um, spoons, that type of thing. But I do find that I use most everything. What I have set up here functions and works for me so that I can easily get what I need when I need it and I can easily put it back where it goes. My last tip about drawer storage actually doesn't involve a drawer. There are things that we might keep in kitchen drawers that are beautiful and maybe we just want to keep it out on display as part of the decor in our kitchen. I like to call that countertop storage. This is the one time that you want to make sure whatever you are putting out is beautiful and looks like decor even though it's functional and it might be something you use every day. As you're getting your kitchen drawers organized, remember that you might not get it all exactly the way you want it the first time, but that's okay. Just keep working at it. Keep trying, figure out what are the things that are working for you? Which are the things that aren't working where you currently have them? And then just keep playing around with it until you get it exactly like you want it so that it functions beautifully for you. So that's the key is making sure that it functions exactly like you need it to. Things are easy to take out, they're handy when you need them, and then they're easy to put back right where they go. Let us know in the comments below which area of your house is most frustrating to you because you need to get it organized. I'm really curious. It, for me, it used to be my kitchen. Now it's other rooms that I still haven't gotten organized in this house. So that's my goal for the next move. So let us know. I'm really curious about what your most troublesome areas are. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. That really helps out my channel. And make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications so you'll be in the know when I do all of my organizing for the new house. I appreciate each and every one of you more than you know. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys.